MTP 201, Unit 3, Dyes and their affinity with different fabrics. Dyes are used at various stages of production to give color and ornamentation to the fabric. Colored fabrics increase the value of the product. Factors that are considered while selecting a dye include the type of fabric being dyed in, the particular desired shade, dye uniformity and fastness. In this particular unit, we are going to study about the affinity of various fabrics with different types of dyes. After going through this unit, you will be able to Understand dyes, affinity of different fabrics with different dyes. Introduction A dye is a colored substance that has an affinity to the product to which it is being applied. The dye is generally applied in an aqueous solution. The dyes are used based on the fibers to which they can be applied and the chemical nature of each dye. Dyes are sold in the market as powders, granules, paste and liquid dispersions. Different fibers require different types of dyes. Types of dyes there are various types of dyes to dye different fabrics which can be classified as under natural dyes and synthetic dyes. Dyes can be done in the fiber stage, yarn stage, fabric stage or finished product stage pending on the necessity. Dyes used to color fabrics are direct dyes. These are good all-round dyes. Some having very good light fastness and are suitable for cotton, linen, West Coast rayon. Some selected dyes are suitable for silk and wool also. A warm wash only is recommended for the dyed fabric. Otherwise, the results become stained. Basic dyes. These dyes give rich, brilliant colors even with a short dip of cold dye color. But Unfortunately, they fade badly. They are suitable for cotton, linen, West Coast rayon, silk, wool and some mixture fabrics. Sulphur dyes. These are insoluble in water but made soluble with extra agents. They are usually applied on cotton for cheaper shades, have high wet fastness but poor light fastness during dyeing fabric. Wet dyes. These are very fast to light and washing. Suitable for dyeing cotton, linen and West Coast rayon and can be used for silk. Reactive dyes. These fast to light dyes give bright colors on cotton, linen, West Coast rayon and to lesser degree on silks and woolens. They are fixed on the fiber by direct chemical linkage. The dye molecules become part of the cellulosic molecule so they are very fast to washing 
These dyes penetrate rather readily so are useful for dyeing bulky or closely bound samples, particularly those of folding techniques. Always wet out smaller finely tied bundles or the resist will be lost. Sometimes after untying there seems to be no resist pattern left but after rinsing and soaping at the boil the loose dye stuff is washed away and the resist will appear. For these fibers it is most important that the fabric should be well washed and absorbent otherwise the dye will not react properly with the fibers and the colors will be washed away during rinsing. Dispersed dyes these will dye polyester, nylon and acetate rayon which is a synthetic fiber. Acid dyes these are excellent for silk and wool the colors are bright and intense. Some have very good light fastness. It is advisable to wash in warm water only. Rinse in warm water and dry quickly. Now I am going to give you some self check questions. The first question today is what are dyes? Name different types of dyes used to dye fabrics. If you have answered these questions, let me sum up what we have read today in this lesson. We have learned about various dyes that are used for tie and dye. Before I finish the topic today, let me tell you my dear students. Depending on the fabric, we have to select a dye. Supposing we take a dye which is meant for synthetic dyes, we will not be able to dye the natural fabric. And in the same way, if we select dyes which are meant for natural fibers, they will not dye the synthetic fibers. So, Choosing a particular dye is extremely important. Also let me tell you, the dyes which I have told you, quite a few of these dyes are not really meant for dyeing a permanent fiber or fabric, but are for sampling or dyeing fabrics which don't have to be really washed. Out of all these dyes, the direct dyes are the cheapest and the wet dyes are the most expensive. If we wish to have a permanent solution to the dyed fabric, wet dyes is the choice. Why do you think that is? because wet dyes have the rubbing fastness, color wash fastness, light fastness, dye fastness. In fact, to tell you in short, let me give you the answer to it. What is a dye? A dye is a colored substance that has affinity to the product to which it is being applied. The dye is generally applied in an aqueous solution. The dyes are used based on the fibers to which they can be applied and the chemical nature of each dye. Some of these dyes have been the direct dyes, basic dyes, sulfur dyes, watt dyes, reactive dyes, dispersed dyes and the acid dyes. Several questions. Describe different dyes used in tie and dye process. Which dyes are generally used for tie and dye? Thank you.